Welcome to Red Square, the heart of the Soviet Union, perhaps the image of the Soviet Union to the world. BP oil has been trading with the Soviet Union for many years, especially in oils, lubricants, special products. But until very recently, there was no permanent base here. Well, now BP does have a base in Moscow, which is staffed by four expatriates and a small team of local employees. One of the main functions of the team will be to identify business opportunities for BP oil in the USSR. If you need any proof of consumer demand in the market, you need only look inside Goom, the biggest department store in Moscow. It is huge, yet the shelves are absolutely bare. Soviet people are having to wait in long lines for two, three or four hours a day to buy basics like sugar, bread and potatoes. Satisfying this consumer demand, that is the challenge for the retailer. Yes, I must admit when we showed them our advertising uh, clips showing our new Horizon re-image stations, they were totally knocked out by it. It was hardly surprising given the fact that it took at least a day before we even saw a service station in Moscow. And when we did, uh, with due respect uh, to the Soviet system, it was hardly the most impressive uh, of service stations that I've ever seen. So again, I think that that just illustrates the fact that there's this enormous amount of unsatisfied consumer need there which hopefully BP oil will be able to help satisfy in the years to come. In the spirit of openness, glassness and restructuring, Perestroika, BP oil have been asked by IMMO, the most prestigious Soviet economic research institute, to host a special seminar for Soviet managers. BP, after all, are undergoing sort of perestroika themselves. Soviet managers are having to learn about market economies, about customer relationship, and 150 delegates have gathered in Moscow for the two-day seminar. You, like me, I hope, are the managers of the future. In your separate ways, it will be for you, like I hope it will be for me, to transform and change your companies, your organizations, and indeed your country. In my view, we have already passed the points of no return to the system we had. We are now moving towards a real market economy and uh, we are trying to do our best to speed up this transition. BP Exploration is the company in the limelight at present because the development of the natural resources is so crucial for the Russian economy. But BP Oil have always done product trading business with the uh, Soviet Union and we're now developing a lubricants business more strongly. Um, I have heard from the ministry that they are very happy with the quality of our products and with the technical service and the professionalism of our people. So who knows, we may be getting a lubricants business off the ground very soon. In 10 years time, I don't see why we shouldn't have an integrated upstream uh, and downstream operation uh, competing with international companies like we do in other parts of the world. Perhaps I'll be able to report to you again soon on the growing business that BP Oil are doing here in the Soviet Union. <laughs>